Welcome to Ending the Day with God on Saturday the 20th of August. We opened this evening's worship with Catherine Crosswell's Still is the Word. And now to our opening prayer. Light of the world, shine in our darkness today. Where there is pain and sorrow, may the brilliance of your love bring joy. Where there is sickness and suffering, may sunshine come after the storm. Where there is greed and corruption, may your radiance scatter the shadows. Where there is hatred and bitterness, may your brightness dispel the clouds. Lord Jesus Christ, light of the world, rise again upon us, we pray, and illuminate the darkness of this world through your life-giving grace. Amen. Through tonight's reading, which comes from the book of Habakkuk, we explore further the theme, Sharing Resources. Chapter 3, verses 17 to 19. Though the fig tree does not blossom and no fruit is on the vines, Though the produce of the olive fails and the fields yield no food. Though the flock is cut off from the fold and there is no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will exult in the God of my salvation. God, the Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer and makes me tread upon the heights. Thanks be to God. And now, tonight's reflection. Little is known of Habakkuk, a prophet writing around 600 BC, of God's intention to use the Chaldeans to bring judgment on his sinful people. Terrible though that judgment may be, however, Habakkuk is able to conclude his prophecy with these triumphant, faith-filled words, based on his confidence that even in judgment God will somehow remember mercy, enabling him to walk with the sure-footedness of a deer, even through the most difficult times and places. One of the most common objections to faith is that natural disasters of all kinds occur, leaving many at the mercy of flood and famine, earthquake and drought. Today the situation is exacerbated by our own despoiling of our environment for commercial gain, often at the expense of indigenous communities. While the efforts of aid agencies help to mitigate the effects of irresponsible exploitation, our decisions need to be taken at government level if our planet is to be able to continue to resource its growing population. Personal trust in God such as Habakkuk's looks very different if you live in Mali rather than Mayfair. Earth's resources are limited and their distribution is hugely unequal. Depending on where we live, 
How should we respond to our global situation? Yes, we are called to trust God, but are we also called to act, to lobby, to pray, to modify our own lifestyle, to give? Lord, raise my awareness of those places where there is indeed no fruit on the vine and no bread on the table. Help me to weep with those who weep and to ask what I can do and how I can help. Help me to remember too my need to trust at all times and like Paul, to rest content in times of need as well as of plenty. Amen. And now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Protect us through the hours of this night. Lord, be they silent or stormy, that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of a restless world may rest upon you eternally. You created the world out of love. Now we return to you in love. Let us rest in God this night and awake in newness of life. Amen. Mm -hmm.